Okay, so we're going to be using Photoshop on this project to just learn some basic tools to help you in the future with your designs. You're going to hit create new on the left and then you're going to make sure it's seven by five inches, which is the default on Photoshop. Then you want to change it to say your name at the top, which is Miss Krause, and then click create. Now that I have my artboard ready to go, I am going to be making a cheeseburger. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to be using my brush tool on the left to make my burger bun. So if it's on something else, you want to right click and you'll see the brush tool. You can also hit B on your keyboard. I'm going to click on the bottom top square where the colors are so that I can choose my color of my burger bun. And then I want to set it to the color that I think looks like a bun. You can decide which one you prefer. Once I have that set, then I'm going to make my brush bigger or smaller, either using the bracket keys or you can go to the top and change the size. You can see in the top left hand corner where I'm changing the size of my brush. You can also change the type of brush with the hardness level or, um, the opacity. So see when the hardness level is not very hard, it doesn't have a strong border to it. So I want my hardness level for the burger to be at 100, like you can see there. All right, now if you want to get those off of your page, you can just hit Command Z or Edit Undo, then it will undo that on your page. Now I'm ready to create my burger bun. I'm going to make the size of my bun a lot bigger so it actually fills my page and just click one time. Now, if you change the opacity, you can see how much lighter it's going to be, but I want it to be at 100 opacity for my current shapes. So after I make my bun, what I'm going to do is change my layer to label it. So I want to double click over in the layers panel, and then I want to change it from saying layer one to say bun. So it's all labeled. So you always know where everything is. Then I clicked in the bottom right hand corner, a little plus sign with the square next to the trash can to add a new layer. Now I'm about to create my patty, which is basically the same method where I'm hitting my brush. I just changed my color to a little bit darker to reflect a burger bun. I mean a burger patty, okay? So now I'm going to click and I have my burger patty. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to add some grill marks to my patty. So I am going to be using the burn tool. You'll probably see the dodge tool show up, which we're not going to use that because that will lighten. The burn tool will darken. So you can see my burn tool, the exposure at the top, where it's not exposing that much to make it darker, you have to really brush over it. Where if you make the exposure higher percentage, then you don't have to brush as many times if you wanna darken parts of your burger patty. All right, you can also change the type of brush, the size, everything the same way you do with your other brushes. <music> I'm going to label this layer as my burger layer and add a new layer. You can see the plus sign at the bottom. Boom. Now we have a new layer. And then this layer, I am going to add some lettuce. So I'm going to go back to my brush tool. I'm going to change my color to green, any type of green you want, because I want to make some lettuce. But now I want to change the size of my brush to a lot smaller because I'm going to paint a design of a piece of lettuce, which you can make it however you think your lettuce will look. So I'm going to draw my piece of lettuce on here just create a shape. And you want to make sure your shape is closed all the way, no openings, because otherwise when you fill it in, it's not going to fill in correctly. Then I'm going to hit my paint bucket tool. You can see over here, you can hit G on the keyboard. Then I'm going to click that and I'm going to click and fill it in. You can see there's a little gap around the edge. Just click there too and it will fill the rest of your lettuce in. Now the next thing at the top, you can see I grab the move tool, which now I can also move around my lettuce. And you can see if you don't see the show transform control tools is at the top, you check the box and you can change the sizing of your lettuce or any shape that you do this with. And then you just have to hit the check box over on the right or um, hit enter on your keyboard. So now I have my lettuce, I'm gonna label my lettuce and then hit enter. And then I'm gonna add a new layer with the plus sign. 
So now on my next layer, I'm gonna add a tomato. So I'm gonna go back to my brush tool and I'm gonna, well, first I'm gonna change my color. I'm gonna change it to a red, like a color of the darker outside of a tomato. Click okay, go to my brush tool and then I'm gonna make my brush very big so I can have a big tomato on my burger. Once I'm ready, I'm gonna click. I have my shape. So now I'm gonna go back to the red and then I'm just gonna change my uh, red color to a little bit lighter and so that I can have like the inside of the tomato. So I'm gonna just shrink my brush size just a tad bit with my bracket key so that I can have um, the lighter color of the tomato in there. So now I have that. Then what I'm gonna do is make my brush a lot smaller so I can make sections of my tomato. All you do is click with your brush once you have the color, but first you need to hit the ink drop tool, um, the eye drop tool right there in the top left, or you can hit I on your keyboard. You're gonna click the darker red color so that you can make the shape. Then you're gonna click one dot, hold shift, click again, and then you make your line. So you'll click with the dot, hold shift, click again, and now you have your line. Click with your dot, hold shift, click, and you have your line. So click, hold shift, and then click again. And now you have your different shapes of your tomato. All right. So now what I want to do is add a little bit of detail to the inside of my tomato. So I'm just going to add some more of the color from the brush inside of each of my shapes of my tomato. And then what I'm going to do is show you how to blend it in. So what you're going to do is change the type of brush, right click, and you'll see there's lots of different brushes. You're going to hit the mixer brush tool. That way you can mix the colors so it kind of blends in. You can change the size, the type of brush, the hardness, all that at the top that you can see, as well as the type of like mixing, how much it mixes. You can adjust that all at the top. You can see when the mix isn't as higher percentage, then it's not mixing as much. When it's higher, it blends it a little bit more, okay? So you can use this on all types of skills. It doesn't just have to be on this, but you can use another if you even do like digital painting. So I'm gonna mix that in on all my shapes on my tomato, okay? So I'm gonna get that all blended in. Then once I finish with that, I am gonna actually make some seeds on my tomatoes. You don't have to add seeds if you don't want to, it's optional, but I'm gonna change my color to a color just a little bit darker than a white. So it has like the red tint from the tomato color. Um, and then I'm going to add just by clicking and adding some dots into my tomato so that I can have some seeds. And then I'm also going to use that mixer tool so it blends in just a little bit. That way it looks like it's kind of covered in the tomato just because sometimes the seeds are like in the tomato. They're not always super white, but sometimes they are. So you can leave it how you want it, whatever you think looks best. The next thing is if you do wanna zoom in, you can hit the magnifying glass. You see it there on the bottom. If you hit that at the top, you'll see a plus or minus, or you can always hit command plus or command minus on your keyboard to zoom in and out. That way it helps you if you wanna see any details. So now that you have four unique layers, I want you to add three more layers and I want you to make sure they're all labeled. That way you have seven unique layers. You can add more if you wanna have seven unique layers, if you wanna have more than seven, um, but at least have seven and make sure they are all labeled for me. So you can add something like a fried egg, an avocado, you can add the bun at the top when you finish. It can be whatever you want. But you do wanna make sure you're saving this as a Photoshop file. So you wanna file, save as, file, save as, and then you wanna hit save on your computer. And then you can see there's a little arrow. It will show you more or less if you want to see what folder so you can put it in your exact folder. I already titled my Miss Krause. I am going to add a number two to mine just because I already did one. So I want to make sure it says Miss Krause number two. And then format is going to be a Photoshop file. So you can submit that. That way I can see all your layers. You're going to click OK. And now you have it saved. That way you can submit it so I can see that you created all of your 
layers and label them in Photoshop.